Hey guys, um, don't uh, worry about your screen. This video is audio only because uh, it's too dark to, uh, for you guys to see anything anyway. I'm on my way to work. Let's start making this video because uh, yesterday I let my little buddy down. I didn't take cold for his walk yesterday after work. I was just too damn tired. But anyway, um, I just wanted to say, uh, you know, I'm just tired. Uh, people don't understand it when you say you're tired. You know, there's different kinds of tired. But when you work a physical job, it takes a whole nother level. I mean, it really just takes another level out of you or whatever, you know. And um, people don't understand. When I say people, I mean women in general. Women say I work hard, whatever. I work on a job, whatever. And I don't doubt that, whatever, you know. I've worked at Macy's. <clears throat> and um, it's just a store, a clothing store, where all I had to do was hang clothes, put them on racks. Everything was the easiest job I ever had. Wasn't nothing hard about that job. Just that it was just, you know, I just was there instead of being at home in my bed. That's the only difference. Um, and there wasn't much of a difference, whether physically, but mentally, you know, when I got off, I was glad to get the hell out of there. You know, it was a different kind of tired than the kind of tired that I deal with on the job I'm on now. When you're dealing with a, a physical kind of tired, it just drains you out to where you can't do nothing else but sleep, pretty much. And um, the, the other guys um, off, the one that hurt his hand, yeah, one of the guys hurt, they hurt his hand. I didn't tell you guys about that. If I did, I didn't, I, I don't know for sure. But anyway, one of the guys hurt, they hurt their hand, so that takes the load off us a little bit, whatever. They haven't replaced them. So, uh, you know, the workload is not that bad, you know. And the, the other bricklayer is an older guy. You know, he doesn't move that fast. So it's not that hard to keep up. But it's doing demolition and you know, it's still hard work. And it uh, it takes a toll on you. So anyway, um, I noticed yesterday he's working and whatever and everything. And, you know, he's wearing his shorts. He got his socks on. I can, I can see that his, his, his legs are swelling up. You know, where the socks meet the, um, the skin, you know, it's a big difference. You can see the swelling. Well, that's, that, that's the first sign of diabetes, you know. Your circulation gets bad. You start, you know, um, you start uh, retaining water or whatever, you know. That's a real bad sign. You know, I kind of felt sorry for the guy because I'm like, he's still out here trying to do this damn work, you know, and everything. Whatever. And he was talking about how, proud he is of his sons and whatever because his sons work with him and everything and um he's been married to the same woman for so many years and he's he's, he's happy and everything and blah 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 and um yeah so many years I've been married blah 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 you know and um I'm, I'm eating it up I'm like man that's really good you, you've been married for all that time and everything everything's been going good you know you're proud of your sons and whatever, everything, whatever, you know. You know, if I was sure of that I could, I could have that kind of life or whatever, I probably would have had kids myself or whatever. But in my reality, it probably wouldn't have worked out like that and whatever. And most people's reality, it don't work out like that. He's extremely lucky. So I thought, turns out, I think this guy is full of shit. I think he's just a liar. You know, and people just, pe people lie. People tell you, I got a really good marriage, whatever. we've been together for so many years, and blah, blah, this, and blah, blah, that, whatever, and be lying their motherfucking asses off, you know. The reason why I say that is because the guy works, or whatever, he's frustrated, <laughs> trying to do the job and everything, getting everything done, and um, he's out there working his ass off. At the age he is, he should be on a beach somewhere, you know, drinking a margarita, but yet he's out there with us, you know, killing himself out there working, you know. Got the first signs of diabetes going on, you know. 
when he finally does retire, he says he's going to retire this year. You know, they're probably going to have to cut one of one or both of his damn legs off. You know, because of you know being on his feet so long and working so hard and everything or whatever. And he's got two of us out there, two laborers out there working. And yet he still insists on grabbing his own stuff and getting his own thing and everything. I appreciate the help, but man, you're paying two guys to do that. You shouldn't lift a finger, you know. I feel bad that he's doing my job, whoever, because I can't do everything, whoever. So, you know, I try to help the guy out, but he, he's gung-ho. He wants to get it done. He's killing himself out there with a damn job while his wife is at home sitting on her ass and she ain't doing shit you know she ain't putting up with all this shit that we gotta put up with out there on the job and everything or whatever and he's like we got a good marriage no if she if it was had a good marriage she would care enough about you to tell you you know look you need to take some time off you need to relax you know blah 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 she don't give a shit these women will send you out there to your damn death they will sit back and relax and let you kill your damn self they'll take advantage of your kindness and whatever, if you're like, I don't want you to work, you know, I'll take care of this, everything, whatever, you know, you want to be the man, everything, whatever, and they'll take advantage of that, and sit back and relax, and let you go ahead on and kill yourself, they're happy then, killing your damn self, they ain't worried about no other woman getting you, because you're going to be too damn tired to do anything with any other woman, and whatever, so, so, so they pretty much they figure they got you, you know, you know, that, that, I see it all the time, I'm watching these guys on these jobs kill them damn selves, you know, and this is especially white guys. I know you guys are probably sitting, you thinking, you know, you know, this guy's black. You think I'm talking about black women? Think I'm bashing the black women and whatever? The black women got their problems and everything or whatever. But uh, black men pretty much got their asses figured out. You know, you white guys are, are late to the table. These white women, they're killing these damn guys, and the ones they ain't killing, they're making them kill them themselves and shit, whatever. I know personally a guy that killed himself. Because of a damn woman, white guy. Well, a white woman killed his damn self or whatever. You know, thought they had a really good marriage. You know, this was a long time ago. This was like 20 years ago. A uh, good couple or whatever. They both worked the same place. We were making really good money. So uh, the, 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 the income he was making was double, you know, by her making the same amount. Working at the same place. I mean, it really worked out good. You know, I was really proud of him. I'm like, you know, I, I'm like, they got it made, whatever. She's working here, he's working here. They're making this good money. They got a good marriage. She's gorgeous. You know, he's young and he's got it energetic and everything, whatever. He knows what he's doing, he knows his job. I mean, they got it made. Turn to find out that um he killed himself because he found out that his wife was sleeping with his best friend. His best friend who happens to work at the same place. So he um, he killed himself by um, sitting in the car, drinking, and um, he had the car running with the garage door closed, and he, uh, he killed himself by asphyxiation, you know. So um, and then um, I couldn't get it, you know. I'm like, why would he kill himself or whatever? I mean, he's had a perfect marriage and everything, blah blah blah. You find out that he, you know, she was sleeping with that guy. The guy that he paraded her around, or she he paraded her around, showing her off to his friends and everything and everything. Well, what do you think is gonna happen? <clears throat> and there's another catch to it. She had a baby like a year earlier. You know, I think that's probably what pushed him over the edge, not knowing if that baby was really his or not. You know, because there's no telling how long the fooling around had been going on. You know, so, but whatever the deal was, you know, the guy killed himself over a woman, you know, and there was no excuse for her, you know, doing them like, like that and whatever, you know, but like I say, people on the outside, people make it seem like they got a good marriage, everything's going good, they're all happy and everything's, uh, you know, perfect, you know, and in reality, it's fucked up, you know, behind closed doors, you don't know, and you young, the young guys out here see this shit and they're thinking, oh, you know, I can get married and we can live happily ever after. Man, that's bullshit. That's bullshit, man. That's bullshit. Because I tell you, these fucking women, they lie. You know, that's that's plain and simple bullshit. You know, you're going to wake up to a real rude awakening one day when you realize these women don't give a shit about you. They will let you run yourself into the fucking ground. 
And then when you're dead, they'll just collect whatever is left over and go on to the next guy. You know, they really don't care. Guys don't seem to understand that women don't care as much about us as we care about them. They don't get it. They just don't get it. They just don't care. Women don't care. You know. And uh, and like I say, some of these guys, you know, they deserve it. You know, because I see a lot of these guys are assholes. They, they deserve this shit, women. But who knows? They might be assholes because they got shit like that at home to deal with. You know, a lot of these guys bring their shit to work. You know, they'll snap at you. They'll be assholes. And you're thinking that they're just being a dick or they're being a racist or they're this or they're that or the other. In reality, that bitch got, got his fucking balls in a fucking vice. And he comes to work. And he uh, he's mad at the world because his life is so fucked up. You know, he swallowed that bitter ass blue pill. And he's got a choke on that son of a bitch. You know, poor guy. You know, what are you going to do? You know, but um, like I say, I see it all the time. These guys out here working themselves to death. They're killing themselves on these damn jobs. Only difference between me and them, I'm killing myself on the job a little, but it's not. It's for my own personal uh, stuff I want to do or whatever, you know. It's because I want to go places. I want to do things. You know, that's justifiable homicide. You know, you're going to kill yourself for something. Kill yourself for yourself. Not for some damn woman that they got you all tripped up. That got you, you got two or three damn kids. And you got to work yourself to death until the day you die to take care of them. Do it for your own selfish reasons. You know, you want to go to Vegas or something. And you want to go <coughs> travel. You want to buy the latest toy or the latest car. <coughs> ah, sorry guys I got this cough <sighs> I don't know where this comes from All that dust I'm breathing probably But anyway Thanks for uh, listening I'll see you on the next one